Alright. I'm not sure if having this on will help me remember to turn on the cylinder or not, but. Um, trying to get in the habit of every single time. Maybe I need to have it like. I don't know if there's a way to like auto turn on Strava, but I guess it doesn't know if you're on a bike or in a car or whatever. And the segments are what's important, I would say. I think it's less likely to turn off if I have it pointed out. going down that way like if I, I probably haven't hit some of those segments before so I should be PRing a lot today there's only one time that I've turned on Strava with an e-bike so and I know people think it's cheating and um if I had like up the juice on this, but like my times are never going to be like, you know, segment. Uh, oh yeah, KOH is king of the hill. That's what somebody was like saying what it that was. But um, the segment leaders, I guess they're called king of the hills. Whatever. I'm never going to be like. I mean, this is not like a road bike. You know, but it's like it's not a it's a it's a cheap e bike. I mean, in the scheme of things, I mean, e bikes are not cheap, but. As far as e-bikes go, uh, so Discovered really slows you down. Um, you know, that bike. I mean, um, less uh, being faster on that than on my roller. 
real eye-opening about the bags and their aerodynamics. Possibly about bike quality too, but I think it's mostly the bag. And I wonder if it stops automatically. Oh, no. Bumps are a lot harder on this than on the fat bike. That's something. Once again, it's not, it's not gonna auto stop because I'm not coming to a complete stop for long enough, I don't think. I haven't been down here in a while. Somebody needs to go.